Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Sephora VIB sale haul. Can you tell I'm excited? That was the geekiest thing I could have ever done in my life. But I'm super excited. I love this time of year. Sephora only has this discount twice a year, so I look forward to it. I stock their shit and then buy too much stuff. But yeah, so if you guys want to see what I got in my Sephora VIB sale haul, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I got is something from Urban Decay. I can't believe that it's taking me so long to try this, but this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. I mean, if you watch a YouTube, you will have seen someone use this, especially this color. This is in the color Midnight Cowboy. I have seen so many YouTubers use this. It looks beautiful, so I wanted in on some of that action. So it, there we go. So it's a glitter eyeliner. So it has a, like a, brush like an eyeliner so you could literally use it as an eyeliner or you could put it all over your lid to get a really pretty sparkly glossy look this is such a beautiful color they actually have um a lot more new colors right now too but i just wanted to go with um something i know is good and I've seen used so that's the color I went with and I cannot wait to finally try this product okay you guys next I got a couple of things from Natasha Denona <sighs> Natasha why why are you so expensive like it's so her stuff is so expensive but it's so good and I had to try this this is the new Natasha Denona crystal top coat um, these look so pretty. They're something that, you, they're like a cream eyeshadow. They have a similar consistency to the ColourPop shock shadows, I think they're called. Um, you could use them by, on their own, like just all over your lid, or if you're doing a smoky eye, you can pop this in the center to really catch the light. I got two colors. I got Nude and bronze so this is what they look like i'll insert a close-up right now so you could see how they look on my hand but these are absolutely beautiful i cannot wait to do a look with them i'm happy i got like two different ones i got a nude one that i could wear on more subtle days and then the bronze one if i really want to amp shit up Okay, so the next product is from Bite Beauty. Every year they do a color for Movember, which I believe is awareness for prostate cancer. So I don't know if half or all of the proceeds go to that cause. So I'm very happy to support that. Plus this product is beautiful. It is one of their liquefied lipsticks. I have tried uh, one other one of these and I really, really liked it. And this color, I just could not pass up. It's such a beautiful mauve color. And I really like how this doesn't dry down completely matte. It has a little bit of a shine to it and it's very, very comfortable to wear. So super, super excited about this. This next product, I was literally stocking Sephora for because I was so afraid it was gonna sell out because it's always sold out, so I was so, so happy that I got it during the VIB sale. And that is the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. They always come out with these type of holiday edition palettes every year. And this one is stunning. So look at the packaging. I mean, we can't expect anything less from Hourglass, but look at those highlights. Now this is not like their other highlight formula that's actually really, really subtle. These are like really, really glowy. Let's see, shall we mix two? I'm most excited about this middle color. I just feel like it'll go with my skin the most, but whoo, holy sh! Did you guys see that? Whoa. 
That is so pretty. That was a mixture of this guy and this guy. I kind of just put them both and might as well do it to this side too. Holy shit, that is pigmented. Now I'm going to look like I'm crazy, but whatever. That is so pretty, you guys. Now I'm going to like go crazy. That is so pretty. I really like that. And it actually applies really nicely with your finger. Next up, we have a fairly new product from YSL. This is the ta Tatouage. Ta I'm butchering that. Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. Um, I actually wanted a nude color, but all the nudes were sold out. But I really, really wanted to try it. They look so beautiful. So I got the color 15 Violet Conviction. And this is actually a really pretty color. On the website, they describe it as a blackberry, I believe. This is what it looks like. I'll put in a close-up now of what the color looks like on my hand. But this is just supposed to be a really nice matte lip stain. Like it goes on completely matte and opaque, but as it fades away, it leaves a beautiful stain on your lips. It doesn't like crack and crumble away like most liquid lipsticks do. So I was really intrigued with that because that's a big issue I have with liquid lipsticks. Um, so I cannot wait to use this and you guys look at that packaging. I mean YSL does it every time So pretty Okay, next up we have something from Pat McGrath. I Had to try one of these matte trans lipsticks. I mean oh, They look so pretty. I just had to try one. Again, shitty luck. All the nudes are always sold out, so I had to go with a bright one. That's actually the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's a really beautiful fuchsia color, like a muted fuchsia. And this is uh, the packaging. Let's go like this. And it opens up. And this is what the lipstick looks like. It's so cute, so luxurious has little lips right there and you guys the bullet itself have you ever seen a lipstick that looks like that like the bullet has no gloss to it it is completely matte it literally looks fake it is just the prettiest thing ever I really really want the color 1995 oh it's always sold out so I went with this for now but I might get 1995 as well. This formula is beautiful. It's so comfortable on the lips, so pigmented. Literally one swipe is all you need. Is a nice. Is is nice. Okay, you guys. So the next product is by Anastasia. It is their liquid glow highlighter. This is not too new, but it is fairly new, I believe. And it's just a liquid highlighter. I got the color Perla. It's a very beautiful champagne -y pearl color. And I'm really excited to use this because you could really build it up to be very, very glowy. Or you could make it more subtle. You could mix it into foundation. You could wear it underneath foundations. There's just so many different uses for a product like this. So I'm super excited to try it out and see what I think. Okay, you guys, so this next product is very, very expensive. It is very, very, very expensive. If my mom knew I bought this, she would beat the shit out of me. I'm not even joking. Um, this is one of the Pat McGrath palettes, one of the Mothership palettes. I believe this is the Mothership 2 palette. <laughs> this was so expensive, but it's so pretty. I had to try it. I just had to. You know, you feel me. You you feel me, right? Right? Um, this is so pretty. So it has the same kind of idea as the lipstick. You open it up like this. 
there it is inside such nice packaging and you guys this thing is weighty like it has a good weight to it it has this metal plate at the back and then this is what the front looks like what i don't like is it gets very very fingerprinty i feel like i'm gonna have to constantly be wiping it to keep it nice and clean it also comes inside with um a card of all the colors which i wish were written in the palette but whatevs and you guys look at that is that not the most beautiful palette you have ever seen it is so pretty you guys um, I'll do a couple of swatches and show you guys a close-up right now, but it's a beautiful palette. Honestly, though, you get 10 shades, and for that price, I, I just don't know. I just don't know if I can justify it. I'm going to have to try it out and see if I'm not completely, completely blown away. Um, then this is going back because it's expensive, and I am keeping it if it's not good. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my Sephora VIB haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can see all of you guys in the next one. Also, stay tuned because I will be doing a full face of first impressions trying all this makeup. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys.